Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome to another glorious playthrough of a fantastic video game. I am your host, Flaming Stick Guy, and today on Retro Gaming Wednesday, we are playing Metroid 2 Return of Samus. I've never played this before. So let's see what it's all about. Um, I am Met Samus, and I am going this way, and now I'm going this way. I have guns. Alright, let's try this way. What's over here? My ship. I can go that way. Ooh! I have more fall. Okay. Can I jump on top of this? I can. Now what do I do, huh? 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 I guess I just jump out. I can't do anything there. Alright. Where am I going, I wonder? Hey! Don't touch me! Energy. So I've played a lot of the Metroid games. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of Metroid. My first Metroid game that I ever played was uh, Metroid Prime. really enjoyed that. We had rented it. That was when I first got my GameCube. We rented Metroid Prime. And we had no idea what the hell we were doing, my brother and I. And <laughs> we ended up getting the strategy guide, the, the Prima official strategy guide. So we knew what exactly we were doing. We got stuck on the Platic Beetle. That was like a very, very beginning game boss and I just felt so pathetic afterwards after we defeated him because it's like oh wow this is just so easy and ever since then I've really enjoyed Metroid but I was rather disappointed with uh, Metroid Other M that was stupid I found it to be unimaginably difficult for my taste and I'm as of right now, I'm still stuck on a boss that I have no freaking idea how to get past. I got Super Metroid on the Wii Store before I discovered emulators, so I have that as well, and I'm also stuck on that. So I'm hoping that I don't get too super stuck, or super dead for that matter, on this game. <laughs> I never actually... I know, I didn't take that back. I have played all the way through and beaten Metroid Fusion. I finally did beat Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Uh, it took me a long time to do that, but those have been beaten. Metroid Prime 3, I managed to get to the very last planet or whatever, and my save file decided to completely erase itself. So I have no idea why it decided to do that, but also I have no save data for Prime 3, which really sucks, because... Oh look, it's a Metroid, I think. What? 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 What is going on? I should switch to the missiles. Man, this thing is murdering me. And I'm gonna die. Yep, and I'm dead. I have completely disintegrated. Wow! I feel so pathetic now. What is happening? Whoa. Alright, let's try that again. That was... stupid. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Let's just kind of blow through this. At this rate. <laughs> that way we don't... potentially lose any energy. Alright. 
าเฮ้ยอันนี้ไว้ back to my story because story time and stuff you jerk anyway oh I guess I could use this huh oh save huh I can save ah oh, I can save Again, back to my story. Um, that is lava, and I don't want to go there because lava. Um, crap! What was I talking about? Derpa, derpa, derpa. Metroid Fusion. Yeah. Um, I was not actually the first one to beat that. My brother had gotten through the harder parts from for me, which made me sad. Because I was not the first one to beat that. He also did that to me with uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I was not the first one to beat my first GameCube game, my copy of Mario Sunshine. The jerk. He decided to beat it for me because he's just such a loving brother and stuff. So yeah. But I did eventually beat through uh, Metro Fusion. It's difficult. Not like this one's freaking turning out to be. They're all pretty hard. Zero Mission was probably the easiest and shortest Metroid game I think I've ever played. It's just like a retelling of the first one for Game Boy Advance, just with a lot better graphics. And I have this thing. Beat up now. Oh wow, you're a pushover. I'm standing in your corpse. Okay, that thing is a freaking pushover. Oh jeez, what's going on? Give me those. Here. There's definitely a lot more enemies crawling around. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I I am a Metroid kind of guy, all because of an accidental discovery. Of Metroid Prime for GameCube because I had a GameCube. And I thought, ooh, this looks fun, so Metroid, and then I discovered that Metroid was actually a really old game. So, fancy that. And I was born the year this game was made, 91. To a lot of people, I am very young, but to a lot of others, Old. I am an old man. I'm going this way. Where's the lava? Where's the save station? There's no map. That's a pause button. Okay. Okay, I think the save guy is over here. Save. Complete the bid. Let's go over this way to the lava. Oh wait, there is no lava. So if I happen to fall, I wouldn't hit lava. Oh jeez. It's like a beta fish. That crawls. I have no idea what that is. It's like a ceiling piranha. Yeah, it's a crawling beta fish.
Oh! I didn't think I'd get hit by that. That's more lava. So I really don't want to fall into that or I will die again. Okay. Go away, beta fish. Do -do 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 -do. Ceiling piranhas. Oh, great. And there's weak looking things with eyes that jump out of lava and gently float back down to the surface. Because they're stupid. Taking your energy. Because that is how I do. gotten uncomfortably quiet. Crap. Give me your energy, fool. Uh-oh. I thought dark screen meant another boss encounter. Uncomfortable quiet means something really bad is inevitably going to happen. And I'm just waiting for it. Just waiting for the next super boss to come out and be all like, you're screwed. Jeez. That was stupid. I'm just gonna go this way. Holy crap! What is that thing? I have 15 energy left, that sucks. Can I heal at the save station? I know that some some save stations will do that for you in the other games. Now the music has gotten really weird. I feel uncomfortable now. Uh oh, big empty room. What? The door is locked. I'm scared. Now the music is intensifying. idea what's going on. I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. Let's go this way. What's over here? Another big empty room. What? Okay. Is that the switch for the door? Let's go find out. What's up here? Is there anything that I've missed? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Drop, 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 drop. One thing I love about the Metroid series, there's no fall damage. Even in Prime, there was no fall damage. Nope. I have no idea what that one switch did, but now I'm getting really paranoid. It's not supposed to be this way. have very little energy to go around and I'm about to die and I'll just meet my ultimate demise now thank you 
let's go ahead and die now. Jeez, how'd I get through that with only five energy? I don't know. There's nothing up here that piques my interest. What about... Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm back at my save point of patheticness. Because I'm pathetic. Let's take out that weird bee wasp looking thingy. No energy, alright, thank you. And then you decide to, to give me energy. Yeah, Hey. Cool, thanks. Go away. What's this way? Did I come from this way? Oh look. Something has broken loose right here. And he's now running around the world. All smug and whatnot. Like Er, I own the place. With his smug sense of self-satisfaction. Wonder how many other S-words I can cram into one sentence. Probably a lot. 